welcome friends since uh, so many years uh, now i'm going to teach you in the english because i have so many message and email uh, on youtube and uh, many students ask me to prepare the same lectures in the english so uh, today i'm going to start um, a chapter uh, which is called fixed beam and uh, in fixed beam uh, so going to understand the fixed beam uh, first of all uh, we should know the uh, characteristic of the support so as you know that uh, if the one end is fixed suppose we have the beam ab uh, in which uh, a support is a fixed support and b support is a free support so that is called as a cantilever beam now here uh, when i apply the point load at the free end then due to that loading there will be a deformation of the particular beam suppose uh, this point is deflected to b dash your b point is deflected to b dash but look at the a support there is no change in the position because this support is a fixed support so basic characteristic of the fixed support is that uh, it has a ability to resist the vertical reaction it has ability to uh, resist the horizontal reaction and it will have also a uh, ability to have the moment right resistance but uh, look at the cantilever beam uh, as you know that we have a three equilibrium condition that the sigma h is equal to 0 sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 so look at here uh, we have a reaction at vertical reaction at support a we have horizontal reaction at support a and we have the moment uh, that is moment of resistance of the support at a so it means we have one two and three unknown at the same time we have three equation so in this case uh, in whole picture we have uh, three equation and we have three unknown so it means we can find out the reactions right we can find out the unknown but when uh, I talk about the a beam which has both and is fixed suppose we have the beam a b uh, support a is a fixed support and b is also a fixed support so if we apply some point load at the mid span then uh, support a will resist this point load rb will resist that is rb and ra similarly it has ability to resist the horizontal force r h a and the reaction horizontal at b at the same time we have the moment that is m a and m b now look at here at support a you have one two and three three unknown at support a as well as we have the three unknown at support b so as a whole this beam has six unknown and you have only three equation so it means that by using these three equation we are not able to solve this problem so in this case uh, uh, let me take uh, one example of a fixed beam 
so let me take a beam AB and uh, which is subjected to point load W and the span of the beam is suppose L meter now we are going to solve uh, this beam so let me just take the projection of the support and the projection of the force so first of all uh, this is unknown so we have to it is very simple that whenever we have the problem which is little bit uh, complex then we try to make it simple so here uh, we will play with this beam as we have a fixed beam both end is fixed both support is fixed instead of this a support suppose we consider that the a support is a simple support and similarly we assume that support B is a simple support it means that we are converting our fixed beam into the simple support beam which is subjected to W load at the mid span now you forget that you have the fixed beam now you have the simple beam so as we know that when we have the simple beam we are able to prepare the bending moment diagram so it will be something like this and the highest coordinate is wl by 4 wl by 4 so this diagram is called as the mu diagram right it is called as the mu diagram this is not the final bending moment diagram because we are interested to prepare the bending moment diagram for the fixed beam instead of this fixed beam we consider the beam as a simple support beam and we prepare the bending moment diagram this one is a positive now look at the air support in your assumed simple support your air support having the zero moment similarly look at the B support B support it consists zero moment that is wrong so we are going to rectify our bending moment diagram that suppose at the a here suppose that a having the moment is equal to ma similarly we have the moment at b suppose that moment is mb so as our beam is uh, symmetrically loaded so whatever the value of ma same will be the mb so we prepare the mu dash diagram right and this one is a negative now here if we club together this mu dash and mu diagram then we will have the final bending moment diagram so let we just superimpose this mu dash diagram on the mu diagram so it will be something like this So negative and positive so this will be null so this one is a negative this one is the negative and this one is the positive and this is your MB and MA and full coordinate is WL by 4 minus MB or MA now the question is that still we don't have the value of MA and MB so here the area of mu diagram plus area of mu dash diagram is always equal to zero because we know that the algebraic sum of the moment will be zero so the sagging moment area plus hogging moment area will be zero so here the area so this one is the span l so you have the triangle right so the area of triangle for this one that is one half base that is l and the height that is WL by 4 plus your mu dash diagram area of mu dash so this one is the L and the height is MA or MB both are same so 
that is m a or m b we write down m a into l that is equal to zero it means that m a into l that is equal to minus one half l into w l by four so l is cancelled so m a is equal to minus that is w l two into four that is eight so value of m a is w l by eight similarly value of m b is the same because symmetrically loaded w l by eight so if you just uh, find out this coordinate right so this coordinate this will be the w l by four minus w l by eight right so that is nothing it is w l by eight right so your final bending moment diagram this will be something like this that is w l by eight w l by eight plus w l by eight minus minus so this is how we can find out the um, bending moment diagram for fixed beam